So, I have five minutes to inspire you of other ways how to enjoy conferences. I called it Pi Travel. It all started with PyCon Slovakia. I thought it's boring just to take a flight there. I mean, I've been on more than 30 conferences, all the same. You pack your things, you fly, you talk, you go back. Gets boring. So I thought this time I take some exotic roads, I took my motorcycle, I went on really nice European autobahns, and just one hour later, I got this. And then I thought, isn't that exactly what you looked for, an adventure? And I got totally addicted to this. So next conference, I went to Spain, um, also on a motorcycle, and I met a lot of cool people on my way, it's good emotions, like you travel all the way to the sea. And I also met Leslie. Leslie, it's a hurricane that was exactly over Spain by the time I was there. So another adventure. And what I learned is not just Python, but also how to use plastic trash bags to get yourself not so wet uh, if you are caught in the hurricane uh, on the road. Next one was PyCon Italia. Again, same story. And again, beautiful landscapes. And again, who could ever thought that I could catch snow in, Alpen, in the Alpine mountains? But I did it. And I thought that I look like this, like driving through the snow, cool, but I actually looked like this, because <laughs> I learned how to use this plastic bag trick, and now it's like my favorite. Uh, finally, uh, EuroPython in Basel. Uh, I thought, yeah, motorcycle is probably too much, so I took a bicycle. I just went on my bike from uh, Munich to Basel and back. Um, it took me 1,000 kilometers and seven weeks, and I got like more than 10 patches on every wheel but it was still fun. And now I'm here in Thailand and I couldn't cycle, I also couldn't uh, motorcycle, so it was boring, we just took a flight. Um, yeah, I, w I wish it would be boring because it's just eight hours from Munich, but actually the way we flew was we are, yeah, Beijing and 10 hour stop, a 15 hour stop, and we flew over the countries that I would not necessarily want to visit these days. Um, but we made it more than 25 hours of the trip. Uh, we rented a scooter, we broke a scooter, rented another scooter, that one was fine. Made a tattoo, made a meeting with tattoo. So who knows what else can be there and who knows what adventure awaits us next. And maybe, just maybe, uh, you pick one of these events on PyCon event calendar and just go there, just randomly. Like, I knew nobody on most of these trips. Because Python community is kind of like a family. Uh, you always meet new friends and you always meet friendly people. And you don't really need to know much about the country or specific people in that country to do this. And also maybe, just maybe, on, you pick a lucky spot on one of these uh, maps and you go to Pi Munich. And in that case, if you go to Pi Munich, please contact the organizer of Pi Munich who is here. Uh, to make you a really warm welcome, which I promise, because I don't want just to benefit from the hospitality of every conference, but I also want to share something and give something. I'm a couch surfer, by the way, so that option is available too. Uh, so please don't be uh, shy. If you're going to a foreign country, you do not need many friends. You don't need any friends because you will make friends because we are kind of a family, I think. And uh, with this sign of the solidarity, uh, I hope that I gave you one more little hint how you can make your conference experience even more amazing. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. See you.